So when I was in high school, I had the opportunity to become the manager of my school store because I was really friends with the uh, marketing teacher. Uh, I took a lot of marketing classes in high school and I just love marketing. I just love the aspect of selling and advertising and how to increase sales. And I did actually very well in that class. The teacher was just phenomenal. She was very thorough. She explained things in a lot of detail and I learned so much and I did very well in her class. And in 12th grade, she contacted me. She said, Rich, uh, you know, you did so well in my classes. I would love for you to be the manager of the school store this year. And I was jumping up for joy. I says, wow, how cool is that? I didn't even know there was a school store, even though I passed by it, you know, each day. But she says, yeah, we do have a school store and it would be an honor for you to become the manager of the school store because you'll actually be learning by doing. So I said yes and there it went. I remember my first day as the manager of the school store and I didn't know what to expect, frankly. I was a little nervous. I was like, what would the customers or really the students, what would they think of me? And I said, let me just do it. Let me just, you know, be competent, stand up straight, be, you know, nice to the customers. Because just like what my uh, dad and grandfather always used to say, you know, the customer is always right. But I remember first day I had to buy a lot of things and specifically a lot of different types of candy. Sour Patch Kids and that cool packaging. I remember it was like lime green and yellow and had all different neon colors, like the Swedish fish which was a really cool packaging. I got Hershey's, I got M&M's, I got Reese's, all these different products. And it was in this very big book, I remember, and I was saying, how cool is that? And showed the wholesale prices of how much you should sell it for retail, how much you should sell it for wholesale. And I was so excited. I said, wow, this is my first taste of business where I'm a real entrepreneur now being a manager of the school store. So I remember the first day I had to write down and see how many pieces of product I needed to get for the candy. I also uh, wanted to purchase school supplies, so I had to get different locks, the different colors. I got pencils, I got protractors, calculators, and it was so cool. I ordered it and I remember like a week later, all of it came in this big box, tremendous multiple boxes. And I opened it up. I took one of those box cutters and opened it up and it says, wow, how cool is this? And it smelled amazing, I remember. And it smelled like all the candies. I opened it up and I says, wow, this is like a cool candy store right here. Because I remember all those years I would go with my family to these like old fashioned candy stores around like the Northeast. Now I really, in a sense, you know, own a candy store plus school supplies, so, plus so many other things. So one thing that I wanted to do as manager of the school store was that I wanted to bring some new products into the school. So what I did was I went down to Manhattan and I actually went with my grandfather and I even brought my teacher along and we went to 29th Street in Manhattan and we went in to this wholesale costume jewelry uh, place that was all disheveled. There were pieces of jewelry all over the place boxes that were ripped and we went in there and bought wholesale jewelry for the school store that I could sell to the students and to the teachers. And I still remember that day going in there and deciding and speaking with my teacher and saying, like, what do you think the students will like? Do they like hooped earrings? Do they like small earrings? We probably bought like $500 worth of jewelry that day going in there and saying, okay, we'll probably have that at least through uh, Christmas time. We bought a case, one of those rotating cases, and put all the jewelry on there for earrings. We got necklaces. We got rings. I remember my grandfather always saying, rings sell the best. And he was right, actually. So that was a lot of fun. And in addition to jewelry that I put out, something a little bit different than a norm was I made my photography into greeting cards. And what I did was I made blank greeting cards and I put different photos of different things from landscapes, beautiful pictures of sunsets to boats, farms, just beautiful pictures. I remember uh, I had such an amazing social studies teacher in ninth grade and he would come up, you know, basically weekly to me at the school store and he'd say, Rich, any new photography that uh, you created? I said, yeah, actually this weekend I went to the circus. And have some cool photographs of circus things. So he says, oh, okay, give me uh, three cards. So I sold him three cards that week. 
So those are some really cool moments, you know, that I had as manager of the school store. And I learned so much. And it was just such an eye-opening experience working there.